Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Special thank you to our partner, AE Juice. Check out their Liquid Elements Pack. Over a thousand frame by frame animations for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin. Basically, it is a huge asset library on demand. Press a shortcut to open the plugin, drag and drop, and you're done. This is one of those investments that last your lifetime. The links are in the description, all links are affiliated. So if you purchase something from AE Juice, we will get a commission. It will help us to produce more tutorials, and sustain our community. Thank you for supporting us. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Circle. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 60 frames per second, to make the animation smoother. My duration is 5 seconds. Now go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid. And my stroke is set to none. For the fill color, I'm using this hex code. You are free to use any color you want. Let's create an ellipse. I am using Ctrl plus Shift key on my keyboard, to make a perfect round circle. Cool. Deselect this layer, and then select it once again. I am calling it yellow. One thing you will notice that, the anchor point of this shape, is not into the center. So let's fix it. Go to the tools and select this pen behind tool. Now grab this anchor point, and drag it to the center. Press and hold the control key, and it will attach to the center perfectly. Cool. Grab the move tool by pressing V and then align this circle into the center. Now open scale, make sure you are at the first frame. And then add a keyframe on it, change the scale value to 0%. Go to the 1 second position, and change the scale value to a large number, so that it will cover up your entire frame. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open Graph Editor, and if your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose Edit Speed Graph. Now select any keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Cool. Switch back to the timeline, and this is how the animation looks now. Not bad. Let's add more layer to it. Select this layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's rename this layer as Blue. Make another duplicate of it, and this time call it pink. Now zoom into your timeline, until you get the 5 frames time ruler. In case your timeline does not show the same time as mine, then simply go to this time display style, press and hold the control key on your keyboard, and click on it, until you get the same time style as mine. Now go to the 10th frame position, and then grab this blue layer. Place it on 10th second. Let's change the color. Because it is a shape layer, you can change the color by using the shape property. I am using this color code for this shape. Let's grab this top layer, and place it on 20 frames position. Let's change its color as well. I am using this color code. Check the animation, and it should look like this. But it is not complete yet. Let's make one more duplicate of this top layer. I am calling it mask. Now select all three bottom layers, and pre-compose them. I am calling it circle shapes. And then hit OK. It's time for the masking. If your track mat tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key is busy, in watching Game of Thrones trailer, 
then right click here, go to the columns, and select mode. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. It will remove the top shape from the circle shapes, and make them transparent. Make sure it only appears after the yellow circle fill the whole screen. Check it carefully, and adjust the time if you need. I am placing it on 40 frames position. Let's zoom out the timeline. Ramp preview this, and this is our first transition. Cool. Let's move to the next transition. Create a new composition. I am calling it radial. I am using the same setting as the last composition. The first step is to create a new solid. I am calling it blue, and using the same blue shade color for it. I am keeping the color same, for our all transitions. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the radial wipe. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the transition completion value to 100%. And then make sure you are in the first frame. Now add a keyframe on transition completion. And also, Change the wipe to counterclockwise, then go to the 1 second position, and change the transition completion value to 0%. This is how it should look like. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and now make another duplicate of it. I am calling it yellow. Make one more duplicate, and this time I am calling it pink. Again zoom into your timeline, to get the 5 frames time gap. Now place the yellow on 10th frame, and the pink layer on 20 frame position. Because they are solid layers, so we can change the colors from the solid setting only. Let's select this pink layer, then go to the layers, and select the solid setting. Here change the color to the same, as we have used in the previous transition. I am doing it for both layers. Cool, check the animation, and now it should look like this. It's time for the masking once again. Select the pink layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's place it on one second position, and then select the all three bottom layers, and pre-compose them. I'm calling it radial shape. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Zoom out the timeline, and ram preview this. Cool, this looks good to me. Now we are moving to the next transition. Go to the project window, and make a new composition. I am calling it slide. All settings are remaining the same. Instead of creating a new solid layer, I can simply use the solid layer, from the previous transition. Select any layer, and place it onto the timeline. I am calling it yellow. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the linear wipe effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Instead of using the default setting, I am going to use a wipe angle of 320 degrees. To get a slop on transition, you are always free to use anything you want. Change the transition completion value to 100%. Make sure you are at the first frame position. And then add a keyframe on transition completion. Go to the 1 second position, and change the value to 0%. Now the animation should look like this. Again open keyframes, select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and this is how the animation looks now. Let's make another duplicate of it and I am calling it blue. I am changing the color of it as well, and it will be the same as the previous transition. 
Again place this yellow solid layer at 10th frame. Let's make one more duplicate of it, and I'm calling it pink. This layer will be placed on 20th frame. Also, I am changing the color to the same as the previous transition. Cool. This looks good to me. It's time for the masking. Make a new duplicate of this top layer, and I am calling it mask. Place it on one second position, select all three layers, right click on it, and pre-compose them. I am calling it linear shape. Now change the track mat to alpha inverted mat. Zoom out the timeline, and now the animation look like this. Ramp preview this, and see if you like it. You can create two more transitions, just by changing the wipe angle of each layers. Let's change it 0 degrees. I am changing the value for each layer. Make sure to change the wipe angle on mask layer as well. Ramp preview this, and you can use it as the fourth transition. For the fifth transition, you can use a different angle. Let's keep it 90 degrees for all layers. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Thank you again to our partner. Check out their liquid elements pack, which will save you weeks, or even months of work. More than a thousand frame by frame animations, including similar to ones we worked on today. I've also reviewed liquid elements on my channel. The links are in the description. You can also download the free starter pack, with over 100 animations, and give it a try. All links are affiliated, so you're helping us to produce more tutorials, by purchasing products from Ejuice.